the blame game and rather focus on capacity building. Welcome to another edition of Common Sense with Freddie. How are you guys doing today? So your boy is here, Coach Wilfred as Sukwa. And if you're just joining this channel for the very first time, please smash on the subscriber button below this video. And just in case you want to maximize our coaching resources, our uh, Zed Academy, please, the resources as well, they are below this video. Maximize, choose any of our classes, our coaching sessions. We are here to support you. We are home of coaches. So let's get straight into it. You see, I like to tell stories and I like to give you a context of why I am talking about a thing from a coaching perspective as a coach. I've told you guys that I left my parents at the age of 15 and I've been by myself since then to date. So I can tell you for a fact, I've seen the good, the bad and the ugly. What exactly are you going to tell me that will look strange or that is not, I mean, familiar to me? I don't think there are quite so many stuff that you tell me that I haven't experienced growing up as a child. You see, one of those unique things you will hear an African child say is, oh, my parents did not sponsor me in school. Oh, my parents died. Oh, my, this is dad. My, listen. Can quite relate with those but here is the thing you are now 20 you are now 21 you are now 24 you are now 25 you are now 27 28 even 30 are you still blaming those your woes your stagnation your failures on your parents that were not there for you in this digital age no come on let's let's have an understanding here are you still blaming that on your aged parents i can tell you for a fact many of them would have done more but they didn't know any better and they did not even have either they were poor now you've grown you've survived you've seen i mean young adulthood i know many say adulthood is a scam but it's not a scam bro because there are certain things you do that are strictly meant for adults but you're doing them wake up and face the reality wake up and deal with the reality of life if your parents could not do it do you want to continue with the same narrative do you want to transfer such ugly story to your generation? You can do it. Stop the blame game. Now, there are so many things you can venture into. There are so many things that you can put your mind and your spirit and your soul into and make a living out of it. And that's what I call capacity building. That alone can change your narrative. You don't have to go to college before you can change the narrative for your family. You don't have to have attended a formal institution for you to change the narrative of your home. I've told you guys time and again, I attended a polytechnic, one of those dreaded, dejected degrees in my country. <laughs> if you attended a polytechnic, you know what I'm talking to you about. It's called HND. Well, you know what? I determined to make a fortune out of my HND degrees. Nobody who attended the university can make me a pushover. You cannot make me feel dejected that I went to the polytechnic. How dare you? We go drag up. We died here together. I no grief for anybody. With my HND, we do things. With my HND, no PGD. We are running things like as if I attended one of the best universities in Nigeria. Stop the blame game. Nothing is wrong with you. You are the problem, not even the village people. Let them rest, okay? You can do it. Dust your back, get up from your bed, get up from your chair, drop those bad companies, stop those distractions, and get to work. Capacity building is all you need to change the narrative. Capacity building is all you need to annul all the blame games. What if your parents died at birth? 
as soon as they gave back to you your mother passed and possibly or god forbid something happened to your father and you are leaving would you say oh because my parents were dead you are not going to leave you want to die with them can we please put our thinking cap together and think in a logical manner are you replacing the place of hard working capacity building with religious activities it is time for you to move away from that there's a place for religiosity there is a place for hard work choose capacity building over religiosity and choose capacity building over complaining and making excuses as ever this is your village coach speaking see you all at the top because the bottom is crowded <laughs>